So you want to be a paranormal investigator? Fantastic. Episode number 15. Yeah? All right. Okay, so today we're going to talk about talking boards. Yeah? Um, there's many kinds of talking boards, homemade ones and, and different brand names and everything else. The, the most popular one, of course, is Ouija board. Um, now, there are many opinions about it, okay? Uh, for a lot of people, it's just a game. And that's all it'll ever be because they have no intention, they have no belief in it. It's just a game, man. And it won't ever be anything but a game, okay? Uh, but if you're using it for actual talking board, if you're using it with belief that you're going to be talking with the spirits and stuff like that, well, then guess what? You're going to, okay? They will come um, and they will talk and talk to you and everything else. Now, keep in mind it can get an attachment easy by okay unlike evps or spirit box or anything like that spirits can't really atta attach themselves to the words that are coming through okay um, and if they do once you shut it off or you delete it it's gone so they're not going to waste their time on that but on a board that's something you're going to keep something you're going to keep using whatever they will attach to it sometimes okay so keep that in mind myself i won't use one because of the experiences over the years that I've had dealing with uh, the results of them from people who use it incorrectly or whatever, uh, they'll get attachments or whatever, you know. And I've seen, I've seen when I walked into a room uh, or where the pastors walked in a room separate times, where the board starts, the planchette is moving by itself on the board, and all it was doing is spelling kill over and over again, K I L L K I L L over and over again. Or I've seen a planchette come whipping at my head uh, from the table. <laughs> you don't want that kind of board, okay? <laughs> that sucks, right? Um, so I've had a lot of experiences uh, where the boards did get an attachment that was nasty, okay? And it can happen. So be aware of that, all right? That's the one thing you got to understand. However, I'm not saying don't use the board. If you want to use it, that's fine, okay? But use it correctly, okay? And I'll, I'll give you some tips, okay? First thing is, of course, like any other tool, EVPs, anything that you're doing, any paranormal, do it in small steps. Do it during the daytime. Uh, do it 10 minute intervals, okay? Do it for 10 minutes and then close it off and then wait. You know, maybe in a couple hours later you want to do it again, that's fine. You know, you can do it three times a day for all I care. Um, but make sure you, you do it properly because you do not want attachments on the board, okay? Good or bad. You don't want something tethered to your board okay so when you're starting you're going to want to say i am opening this up for communication only nothing can affect us in any other way this is simply for communications and communication only now for some people that's good enough other people might want to add nothing negative or dark may come through at this time right session starts so depend on, on where you're sitting you might want to say nothing negative can come at this time when you're done your session okay make sure to say this session is closed all gateways and portals are now closed nothing may attach itself to this board to me or any of my guests okay this was simply for communication, and now I close the door. Right? Very important. And when you say it, you have to believe it. Okay? You have to believe that nothing's going to attach to it. you got to believe that your door is closed. It's all about faith, right? And intention. So once you do that, then you're going to be better off. Okay? So for myself, speaking for myself, I will never use one. Okay? Because uh, I've had, over the years of doing these things, a lot of experiences where people that didn't realize what they were doing got in big, big trouble, okay? So, I didn't, uh, you know, I don't like them, okay? That doesn't mean that you don't, that you don't have to like them. If you liked it and you want to try it, okay, if that's fine, do it, go ahead. But just make sure you say it's for communication only and make sure you say nothing can attach to this board. You know, like I said previous, you can use that opening and closing if you want to, okay? And remember just to do it 10 minutes at a time, okay? Like once you get to the point where 
you feel comfortable and and you know that everything's working fine or whatever then go ahead and do it um every once in a while you know once a month or something it's good to sage your board to cleanse it you know sage it take it out in the sunlight let it sit out in the sunlight for a few minutes you know just to clean the board off then bring it back in okay so follow these steps and you probably will never have a, a trouble with it you know and then if you do then don't try to deal with it yourself get someone that knows how to deal with it properly um, because it can be it can be a challenge to get rid of something that's attached to it right um, but if you do this I don't think anything will attach to it and you should be fine okay anyway that's my opinion on the on the Ouija board uh, feel free to put your opinion you know down below if you like um, but this is just my opinion okay it's not like an argument or a debate or I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't this is just how I feel about it but if you are gonna do it Make sure to have some precautions in place, all right? <clears throat> and, of course, that goes with anything paranormal. Always be prepared. Always have uh, defense in place uh, for yourself and your team, all right? Now, remember, respect the spirits because they're your people, too, right? They have feelings, too. So treat them the way you wish to be treated, all right? Blessings to all of you. And remember now, take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Watch out for ghosts. <laughs> And have a great day. Bye.